we follow you on uh, online all the time. Oh, yeah? But, yeah, I'm a TV for the rest of them. Oh, great. That's awesome. It's nice to meet you, too. And, uh, but it's Welcome to Summer. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank uh, is Groot going to play any role that you know of in rebuilding this machine? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it would be hard to get her out of the way in this. I think no matter whether Harold wants her there or not, she will she will be participating. So I think I think there will be a lot a lot of involvement. I think that's going to be the fun of the season is like seeing you and Finch together and this you know, trying to regrow this and it being in its nascent stage and what do you diff do different than before for Finch because he's had this opportunity, but for you to like really step in, I think there's going to be some really good healthy debate between the two of you. They've always, they've always kind of come from opposite Absolutely. sides of yeah. the machine, like this would be, you know, so it'll be interesting for they have to work in yeah. I, I love every scene that I get to have with Michael, so the, the fact that we'll be working together a lot makes me very happy. <laughs> so, we talked to a gentleman there, and uh, he said we hit the ground on 13. Right, right. We are. Uh, so, we can it. Yeah. How, how is it in the writer's room trying to plot that out? Uh, it's really exciting. I mean, we... We have never actually had so much time because production is starting a little bit later. And so we've really had to, you know, have the day. It's been a luxury to actually have the day and really look. We've always kind of known over the seasons the big turning points. But we've had time to really get in and, like, you know, dig in ahead of time and, and really plot out everything. And I think, you know, there's there's a chance with our airing schedule. We don't know what it is yet. Um, that, that some of these will be in the can before we even start airing, and I think for us it's exciting because we can really make make all the characters and everything um, make up really tight, you know. So it's a good thing. But it's a shorter season, so it's like it's kind of weird to hear, you know, <coughs> you get to take your time and stuff like that with that. So right. Um, how on other levels? How is it, you know? more intense this season with 13 episodes. It is more intense yeah. because you don't want to ever tell an episode or a story that you don't love. Right. You know, it's all about just what are the the great, you know, stories we want to tell, what are these moments between these characters that we want to make sure that we hit. Like, it's, it's I don't think, going to have any filler. It's going to be really <laughs> lean and mean, and I think that, that's the fun of it. Then, I was going to say, is Sarah Shahi going to come back? Like, is the, the Root and Shaw... Dynamic. I don't think that we've seen the last of <laughs> Yeah, it seems I, like with I that think, little yeah. tease of her in the mirror. Yeah, we know she's she still She may alive. be back with two babies. Rude <laughs> 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 oh. played a nanny once. <laughs> That's true, actually. Did we get it back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think that this will be 13. I do think that that, I mean, it's, I do think that that is baked into the DNA of our show. The numbers, the irrelevance, that is, that is part of the fabric of our show. So I, I don't think that we're ever going to completely 100% but I think you're going to see in this season that the machine is evolving. So the way in which we even get the numbers and the way in which we read and saving the relevance might be changing. Will there be past numbers that come back, like more, and maybe more and more in any way, like the people they've helped in the past that they can... I think we need... This is interesting. I think we need the guys. I want the guys to come back. We gave the envelope. I know, right? Your guys, yes, your little team. They know yeah, how to right. do I know, I know. <laughs> Talking about ratings, the show rates really high, and not to hear it's on the front end of the fans. What do you meet them? What do they say in regards to why they love the show so much? Yeah, I haven't actually had much of an opportunity to talk to the fans, so I would love to hear anything. I know why I love the show. I mean, the, for me personally, the one thing, the relationships between the characters and, and even with the machine seems to be what, even though there's all, people are like, I love the action and this, but right. I I'm, I have had more people come up to me since Sarah kissed me on the show and just say, that, like, it seems like the show has actually affected people in a way just beyond entertainment, which is 
moving and exciting, but I was kind of like, you know, we, it's a, it's, we love making the show and the fact that it helped people in any way seems like an added bonus. Subject matter also I think that, that yeah, every you know, there's so much truth in what's happening and so much relevance to what's in the news right. and all of that that there there really is kind of something for everybody in the show. If you just wanna go with shooting people and action sequences, if you wanna have these esoteric conversations, if you want a romance, it's it's got a little of everything. Sometimes I think too it's like the redemption quality because when I think of your character, uh, you know, Charles and, and Sanchi, like everybody's kind of had their own redemptive path, and I think in some ways that speaks to the audience that you're you're out there trying to save people, but at the same time you're desperately trying to be saved yourself, you know, like. <laughs> I think, I'd say every character has that yeah, aspect. Yeah, definitely. So that's been part of their journey. Right. So they're all, and it's also just got the basic good versus evil right. story. Right. It's yeah. easy to right. Yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has um, working on the show made you more paranoid about like how everything is tracked and can be found anywhere? A little, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, let me turn off my phone right now. Wait a minute. I Don't look at the camera. Yeah. 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 It does seem, seem scary, especially since we shoot in New York and then like living in New York. You kind of, you just kind of look around like I'm like, oh, there's probably a camera right there. And, you know, <laughs> Will there be uh, flashbacks? Like, is it, you know, the, that's been an integral part of the show. So yeah. we we'll continue the flashbacks. So Absolutely, hundred percent. I think you know that with the more compressed storytelling, I think we are looking to do serialized story, and that has always been part of our serialized content to have the flashbacks. And now more than ever to delve into different parts of our characters' lives that we've never seen before. That we just we feel like that we want to share with the audience. <laughs> It'll be fun for us. <laughs> Hopefully you guys do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what other secrets can you tell us about the upcoming season? Can you spoil anything at all? She, I she's know, got all this. No, here. don't. I was just telling Amy that I'm the, I would I would crack under interrogation in a, in a minute. I'm the worst. I'm like, I just give me a slight. I got this slight bit of pressure, and I'm like, ah. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah, yeah. tell us. We want her to keep her job. <laughs> we need her. <laughs> I'm sure there will be. No. What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard. I don't know. Is it going to pick right up? up? It is going to pick. It is going to pick up. We're going to see. I mean, I, I was saying earlier that, that that last moment, the finale, always gives me chills when they go out guns blazing and they have the machine in the suitcase. And, and we definitely feel like we owe the audience some, some explanation of how they're getting out of that. So, <laughs> Not yeah. just that. Two weeks later. Right. Yeah. Here they are. Back in the subway. Right. Yeah. My, husband, James, my husband will be very excited. Oh, really? How did you survive You'll never, that? You'll, you'll never, you'll never know. know. Yeah. You'll have to give him this. It was like a Butch and Sundance moment. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Well, it, and I just love how it all came together. Like, when she, when Ruth brought that case, and you were wondering, what in the world is the case for? Right, why do they keep on bringing up this stupid case? Why? Well, that's what they're so good about. You're like, you'll say, like, you'll, like, put down a red pen in episode two, and then episode 20, they're like, remember that red pen? That's <laughs> actually the key to the universe. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. Do you guys plan that out, or is it sometimes you're like, oh, that way. Way. 100%. A suitcase is 100%? I can't say that for everything. Oh, that one was good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wonder at all when you read the script back then? You like, know, I think in the stage directions it said, like, there was a little, it a little bit too much, too much right? Like, like she's collecting some stuff mm-hmm. for later. It, there was, oh, you okay. knew it was important and that it was going to come back, so... They gave us a little hint. They didn't tell me what that meant. <laughs> and, and do you, you know, there was something in the, the TV guide, uh, the Comic-Con TV guide about the set, building the new subway yeah. set. How do you like working in that environment? Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's really amazing. The, I mean, yeah. first of all, one of the best things is it's warm. <laughs> so in the winter in New York, really. But it's just the detail that they put into it. And there's so many different nooks and crannies that you can shoot. And it looks like a totally different space. And 
just the actual subway car is incredible that it's a real I think it was actually from Chicago they said, but they brought it in and it's just they've done a great job they really have they've done a great job designing that and it also moves I don't know if you guys are realizing that but you see the episodes when they're on a subway and the subway is moving that's the same set so we redress it and we move the car and we do some green screen so, wow. yeah double multi multi-purpose <laughs> Which is better than this. Yeah, I think we've gotten picked out of the real subway. You've done subway. You obviously. Yeah, I'm not yeah. 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 Well, I imagine 13 episodes will at least help with your weather issues. That's true. We'll be done by Christmas. they ever planned on this being the last season. You know? I think there's a lot of... Well, I remember at the Paley Festival last year, Jonah said, you know, we could fill it for three more years. They, they know what they want to happen, but they also know... And also with how relevant it is to the news, it seems like there's always like a new there's always going to be right. There's always going to be a new development or new story. But we have. I mean, we do know. We do know where we want to go in the end, and I think we want to tell a satisfying story. But that's not to say that there's always more story to tell. Thank you.